you have to check your array is palin array or not so what is palin array for understanding of palin array and solve this very very important question ask in multiple interview question but mainly ask in cognizant as to you okay so for understanding palin array you know that what is your palindrome right what is palindrome if i entered like this one to one then we will be comparing from first element to last element and if i take this one like uh, five time one then first element to last element second first element to second last element we will be comparing like this if these both are equal to the your middle element then it will be your palindrome right so not nothing fancy nothing complex here but you have to pay a uh, much more attention if you are attending this interview to that like software asher to your zero to uh, zero to one year of experience two year of experience okay so let's see how we will solve this say main and i will be just uh, making one method here that will be public static and this method will be returning me a uh, boolean value and i will say check uh, palindrome and this method will be expecting a uh, integer value arr integer sorry array okay and inside a array if i ask you to check a palindrome element then you will directly perform a, uh, some operation and you will be give me the answer but in terms of array you have to perform the same method on each and every element right so what i will do i will directly say like for and integer i equals to 0 then i less than my arr uh, dot length not this arr dot length and i plus plus okay good and here i will say one boolean value that will be uh, my result and i will call one method that is is palindrome i checking for element is palindrome okay and it will i passing a array of i one by one i will perform some method and for performing this i need a different method right i can do in this but that will be not good not good a practice so i will say boolean and is palindrome and it will be returning a boolean value and is palindrome right and it will be expecting a integer value that will be a number okay now as you can check here this will give me some result like okay just consider this will give you a true and false but i will ask here if my result res equal equals to false if my result is false then i will be say my whole array is false so i will return something and say false if my whole array is not uh, like palindrome like it is not written false so then it will be true so what we have to print if any element in array right is not your palindromic element then your array should not palin array okay if array every element in array is palindrome then your array will be valid so this logic is finished now we have to write a main logic what is this palindrome like array okay so just need a bit focus here you have your element let's suppose you are having your 111 okay now you can't perform anything on this particular because integer class doesn't give you any predefined functionality so i want to just take advantage of a string class so what i will do string and i will say this is my uh, string or i will say here ss okay and ss i will say uh, empty just like a colon and number why i am doing this i will let you know in just few seconds just bear with me for five seconds okay now s here you will do one thing uh, empty number length alien okay and this ss i want to give a length to you okay i can directly use a length but i want to give a length why i am doing here because now the scene come in a picture you say integer i equals to zero but i should less than your number length divided by two why because as you know in palindrome we are following a sliding window protocol from the starting to the end and here you will say plus plus and this line may this line gives you the main function of it what let me tell you if your ss dot character at right i told you integer class doesn't give you any functionality that's why i'm using it not equals to your ss dot character at your length and what is your length number length right number length minus one 
and now one more important thing minus i uh, you can ask me here hey ashwini why minus i right so if you again and again your loop is running and you say minus one minus one then you are comparing your ith index with a last index only but i want you to compare a one like you are you are at zeroth index you are comparing a last index when you are at one the next you are comparing second last i want like this so that's why i put a i here okay so if you say if this is not equals to then return here only a false value if agar if this is not pass okay uh, then return a true okay yeah now this is completely fine okay now let me run the program and check the array so i will say system dot out and let me first uh, use a array okay I, let me create a array and i directly create this one okay because it will save our time and s out and i will say check palette drop and i will pass this array and let me run so control shift f10 and it will run my program so build and passing is started and then result is true so you can ask me hey ashwini how this is possible okay so let me tell you now let me explain the code okay i hope you learn this but let me do it once more if you come here your array first element you just call this is parent now check this one you enter in this code you just take your number into the your string because i want to calculate the functionality of a string i want to take advantage because without a string this is not possible right so now yeah we have various method you can do or some other method also but this is a bit easy one so now you can say okay i just give me the element here in ss i take out the length and i just divide by 2 i want to run my loop to divide by 2 why i want to run a half of the length let me give you the example uh, let for, suppose you are getting it is 5 time okay so this is a length divided by 2 then you have to 2 here so you have your loop will run till 0 and comma 1 okay so when you are at zeroth index you are comparing a last element when you are at one index you are comparing second last element and at mid you don't have any worried about it so it's true same the functionality you will be performing for each and every element i hope you are uh, uh, like uh, learn something new from this video you can do it by the recursion also okay yeah so if you like the video do subscribe and yeah share this video and hit the like button i will see you in the next video some other topic and some other questions with some other question till then take care bye bye and happy coding keep learning